tokenization, I mean, some think is is slated to potentially reformat uh, the global financial system. How do you think this transition to tokenized assets could potentially evolve? And then obviously specific to, to Chainlink, what role would Chainlink play in realizing sort of the full capabilities of tokenization? TradFi institutions, big asset managers, big banks have a deep connection with the real world, right? They have all kinds of assets that they control that are already real world assets, real estate assets, carbon credit assets, equity assets, commodity assets, all kinds of assets. And then you also have a new infrastructure for value, right? Those assets represent value, all the world's value, actually trillions and trillions of dollars in value. And now you have a new infrastructure the blockchain and Oracle networks and smart contracts that allows people to represent value in a very reliable form in a way that it can move across systems efficiently and securely and reliably and in a way where it doesn't break and you don't have big uh, information asymmetries. So, so that's kind of the situation, right? The situation is there's huge amounts of value in institutions. And there's a new technology that allows value to be transacted and moved and managed in a superior way, because it's like going from paper to digital, right? Going from paper to digital is superior because digital transactions over the internet are superior to paper transactions that happen by sending pieces of paper. And blockchain transactions are superior to digital transactions, you know, to the same order of magnitude or, or maybe even more, right? So that's that's the situation. If If that's the situation we're in, then the the obvious set of next steps is to take all of the value in all of these financial institutions and turn them into this new format, right? To take them just like they went from being on paper to being on digital, to being on the internet. Now they're going to go from being on just digital to basically reliable digital. That's what blockchains are. 